de Zin van Nit. What the f does that say? Oh, Jesus Christ, that was not a good move. Hello, everybody! I hope you're all well. I'm feeling a little bit numb right now because I'm filming this directly after another Chelsea loss. I'll have to be a little bit more specific to you there because there's been so many recently. I am, of course, referring to the loss to the team that was rooted at the bottom of the league, Southampton. So, the only one way that I know can really put a smile on my face is, of course, opening up one of my football shirts that I have bought and I thought I'd go with one that I'm really looking forward to seeing personally and showing off because it's actually a style of shirt that is kind of somewhat overplayed right now but I don't really have one myself. I've got one very close to it but I think this is a better example of it. So it is in this little parcel right here and it has actually only arrived very recently so it's not one that I've been stockpiling away. I've got plenty of those, don't worry. So let's just get it open and we'll see what it looks like in person. I'm very very excited and when you see it you'll think yes it's about time that I owned one of those particular style of shirts. So we have, oh we have another one which is the okay it's been double bagged da, da, da. there we go All right well there goes the tag so that's always nice isn't it when that's uh present so let's find the back of the shirt i think it's gonna be a little bit difficult to differentiate what is the back and what's the front now then there is the rear of the shirt so we have a black sort of body shirt with some sponsors and then there is a little bit of a thing at the bottom there which is just says be dry i presume that's the technology of the shirt there nothing too exciting other than that so we've got that going on now let's bring it around the front and see what else is occurring da -da -da. oh wow get rid of the u tag it's some more of the same it's all black it's all been blacked out in fact yes it is a blackout shirt i actually don't own one of these you saw me opening up the christiania shirt which i got for christmas which is very closely a blackout shirt but there was a few little speckles of color whereas this one yeah it's everything it's beautiful this is an amazing shirt can't believe i've been uh, waiting for such a long time to grab one of these stylings I'm pretty pleased to own one. There is a little bit of colour on the inside of the collar there where it has the typical club crest there. But other than that, it is all blacked out. Now, I was kind of interested to see if it was going to come with the um, with the the league patches on because um, there wasn't an option to do so, which I would have wanted to have done because they were also blacked out. But that must have been just an option for the players when they wear the shirt. So how about that? What do you think? First impressions... That's a very, very nice shirt. And it also has a very nice little meaning behind it. It's not just another blackout shirt. So I'll, I'll put dress the mannequin and then I'll explain to you a little bit about the shirt and of course the club itself. Right, here then everybody. Uh, I have no idea how this is going to look like on the camera, but there is the shirt and it belongs to Sparta Rotterdam. It's their third shirt from the current season and it was bought directly from the club store. It cost about 80 euros, which is roughly 71 pounds and it is a limited edition shirt. I feel like I'm saying that with most purchases recently, but that's just how it is really. And right now, as far as I understand it from the time of filming, they only have smalls left. So if you're any other size, I suppose it's a bit of a hard cheese situation for you there and in fact it wasn't an easy purchase because the club didn't uh, shot a ship directly to the UK I presume that's some sort of Brexit thing so I had to sort of put a small ad out on Instagram and say anybody in the Netherlands willing to help me make a purchase from a club from your wonderful country and then naturally I was contacted by somebody living in England saying uh, yeah I actually uh, have a friend who is out in the Netherlands maybe we could help uh, jump on a little purchase that I'm making uh, of some some football cards that they were making and maybe if they would want to take delivery of the shirt we can tag on and then make it sort of better for everybody so we asked the guy and he said yes um, yeah send the shirt to my address and then I'll forward it on so I 
bought the shirt and had it shipped to this guy's address, hoping that it was not going to be stolen. As far as I understood it, he didn't particularly like this club, so he probably just wanted it out of his house as quickly as possible, forwarded it onto my friend, and then my friend received it, and obviously he kindly forwarded it onto myself, which is just one of the great things I love about this community, is that I can just throw something out there, and a lot of the time somebody will come along and go, hey, I might be able to assist with that or I can point you in the direction of somebody who can assist and it allows you to get some of these shirts which otherwise would be very very difficult to acquire. So when it comes to the club obviously they are based in the Netherlands and yes obviously they are based in Rotterdam. In fact they were founded in 1888 which means they are the oldest professional team in the history of the Netherlands which is very very nice. I always love it when you get these sort of very first clubs to add to my collection. Now there are three professional teams currently playing in Rotterdam, Sparta Rotterdam, Feyenoord most famously, and then probably one that people forget about is Excelsior, which is a team I would love to add to my collection there. Now the uh, club is actually one of the most successful teams in the history of the Netherlands as well, having won six league titles. However, you have to go a little bit back in time to when they most recently won one, which was in 1958-59, so it's, it's been a while since they've been able to lift that league trophy. Now currently, they are still in the top division, and they currently sit in 6th place, which is really, really great, considering last season they almost got relegated, finishing 14th uh, position, so clearly things have improved a little bit. Now, when it comes to the actual shirt, there is a, a definitely a meaning behind this. This one is a tribute, an ode to Jules Dielder, a Spartan from birth and a supporter of the club all the way uh, along his life up until his death in 2019. He was a writer and a poet and artist and a sort of a, a style icon amongst other things. He was known as the Nightmare and as a famed Rotterdammer. And he was almost always dressed in black and hence the reason why this shirt has been released as a blackout shirt and as a tribute to him. So this is not just another blackout shirt which is sort of a edgy colorway that clubs usually release when they're interested in selling more shirts just to the general populace. This one actually has a little bit more behind it and it wouldn't be any other color that's a fit in tribute to the man that they're paying homage to. So I think out of all the ones that have been released I think this one probably would be the best one for me to own explicitly because it's not just another one of those shirts. And with the fact that it is quite limited and sought after, I think this one's nice. Obviously, right now, um, Brussel Dortmund have just released their second sort of blackout shirt, which is nice, and it does come in a very, very nice presentation box. But um, I don't think I would probably swap it. I'm, I'm probably pleased to uh, prefer to own this one. Now, when I was looking the shirt to try and find some details which is a little bit difficult sometimes because you can't really see what the hell's going on on the back of the shirt in dutch it just it does say you are the meaning of life which i believe was just a book tribute uh, written to jules dielder uh, upon his death in 2019 which i think was a nice little touch additionally on that one so this is a uh, robe shirt which you will have seen recently me adding a um, SC Van Damme shirt which was the third shirt again with the sort of the pride colors on the front of there robe are one of my favorite manufacturers they only seem to deal with Dutch teams and it would be nice to see them sort of expand outwards but um, they always put so much time and effort into all of the shirts it's not just like one specific one in the third shirt usually the home and the away shirts also get the same level of treatment so yeah it's very 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 nice so you know i would always recommend if you don't own a robe shirt then definitely um allow that to be one of the ones that's on your wish list now this is actually a shirt they do have pencil to be worn a few times this season in fact i think they've already worn it at least once during the season so it's always nice when a sort of limited shirt gets to see the uh, action and the uh, the grass of the pitch as well so it's not just one that's just sort of released and then never ever worn um, i'm not sure how they performed a lot of times when people wear these sort of limited shirts they do end up actually losing so maybe hopefully they did win with them finished sitting in sixth place you'd probably maybe think that they probably did now Typically, the club would wear red and white as their home colours. In fact, they were inspired by Sunderland. All the way back in the 1800s when the club was forming, they must have went to go and watch Sunderland and were impressed by Sunderland, yes. And they decided that they would use red and white going forward. 
which of course is the same colour as their city rivals, Feyenoord. Though I think the rivalry is more seen as a one-sided effort based from the Sparta end, with Feyenoord sort of focusing more on Ajax and Spurs, I guess. Um, but that is really it. It's, it's a great shirt. It's a little bit of a journey to get here and also has a great little story behind it. It's my first blackout shirt and you know what, if I don't get any more, then I'm very, very pleased just to own this one. It's a Dutch team, which I always, I always quite enjoy getting little Dutch teams added to my collection, um, specifically because the league and the sort of professional teams, there's a small group of them, so it won't be too difficult to be able to at least grab one of every team at some point going forwards. But yeah, let me know what you think. Out of all the blackout shirts, do you think this one is something that you would um, sort of rate high? I think it probably looks quite nice. Um, sort of the silicone sort of squeaky logos there and same with the Robe stuff and these are all transferred on. It's just very, very nice. In fact, there's something on the bottom here which I believe is a um, one of the poems which is uh, written by the man himself. So <laughs> even having looked at it, I, I didn't even clock this. This just shows how black and white that. That is amazing. I love that. I obviously don't really know what it's saying because it's it's all in Dutch. But I'll see if I can try and find a tribute, uh, a translated version, and we can post it there. But um, that's amazing. I'm just finding more stuff. What else is going to be on this shirt? Maybe we'll find out when I actually take some images and photographs for my website. I always put them on my website. I don't really mention this on the channel, but they do exist, and it has a little bit more detailing uh, of the shirts there. So if you want to see more. I always put it in the description um, so yeah that's just something if you're interested in but that is it that's uh, definitely put a smile on my face I, oh, I forgot yeah we did lose to Southampton but ignoring that that is one more shirt on the way to a thousand the next shirt I think I'm going to show you is actually quite similar in style to this shirt and when I show you I might put them both together and I think you will say that those are two pretty beautiful shirts but that is as much as i will say right now i hope you have a great week ahead and uh, as always thank you for watching my videos and i'll see you next time goodbye